All right, I think we're supposed to go this way. Yeah. All right, you know what it's time for. We did we got a three for out of that. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days and I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 uh, Experimental. We are now on build 163. It is Friday, July 10th when I'm uh, recording this, and so that update just came out uh, just a few hours ago, as a matter of fact. Um, so I read through the patch notes, um, some fixes, some changes, nothing too super major as far as I could tell. There was a couple things I liked in those patch notes and a couple things I wasn't so crazy about, but overall not too bad. So uh, read those, of course, on your own if you want to. I'm not going to go through them right now. Hopefully, though, they shouldn't drastically affect uh, our save at this point, but, you know, it's experimental, so anything could happen. All right, I am here at Trader Hugh. Um, so this is our, our town here. Um, and then I, so I just kind of crossed over this way uh, to come to Trader, Ho uh, Tr Trader Hugh, and we're going to start... Um, opening to trade routes. So this is our our Tech 2 uh, quest here. Do I have any bank on me? I don't. Okay. I should have brought some money so we could buy stuff for the vending machine, but that's okay. What do you need? All right, here we go. Well, I guess you ain't so bad. Here's a little something for you. That's great trouble. to hear. Our Duke's been rusty for too long. We've been wanting to open up new trade routes for a very long time. If you got the time, we got some work, or we have some work. Okay, so we get 500 XP for that. Uh, excuse me. Now, do you have any jobs? Okay, cool. So now we have uh, the Tier 2 jobs. They're all fetch. Um, And uh, let's see. Our town is back to the west. So if we go back... Uh, if we take this one back to the west, let's do that. Because what I want to do is I also want to go back and see if Trader Jin uh, will uh, have Tier 2 quest for us, too. Now, she might not until tomorrow, uh, because it's the same game day um, as it was when I turned in the last quest to her. It's a, it's a, it's a new day for me in real life, <laughs> um, but it's the same game day for, you know, the game. So she may not... Um, uh, we're going. We need to go this way. She may not have reset yet. She, in fact, she probably have. The more I think about it, so we'll just go ahead and do this one for Trader Hugh. And um, tomorrow, uh, in the game tomorrow, uh, we'll check Trader Jane, and maybe she will at that point uh, give us also give us tier two quests. Now here again, it's my guess that if she does have them, we can do them, and they will count towards uh, you know working for, towards tier three. I kind of like the way this is working out, to be honest with you. I mean, we, we spent more time on Tier 1 than, you know, than normal, than, than, we're, than we're all used to in the past. But that wasn't necessarily a bad thing. And we were getting pretty decent loot, uh, you know, for our level uh, towards the end there. So, um, yeah, I'm digging this. I, I, I don't have a problem with it at all. It's just, it, it's, it's like the, the questing system is a little more fleshed out now. It's a little more... Um, involved, you know, than it, than it was at first. So hopefully they keep working on that and it keeps getting better and better. We do spend a lot of our time questing, though, but, I mean, it, it, the game if the game makes the questing worthwhile, you know, then that's a good thing. And I think for the most part it does. At some point, though, you know, it's not my intention to just do nothing but quests for this entire playthrough, and particularly when we get into... Uh, stable release um, you know so at some point we'll probably take a break from this and, and maybe you know do some other things too but for now it seems to be working out uh, quite well for us ow Arlene rude <laughs> she stops right there okay I made a um, I made a sniper rifle uh, well no excuse me I made a a, a uh, what am I trying to say silencer uh, and we put it on the hunting rifle But we don't have enough poop yet to, uh, you know, to, to get one-shot kills yet. Man, you know those zombies, they've got that, 
attack that they do with both of their arms, and that that thing hits really fast. I've noticed that, you know, uh, here in Alpha 19, where the, you know they do that, where they swipe both of their arms at you, and it's a very fast attack. It's super hard to avoid. Um, so, you know, something we're going to have to be careful of. <clears throat> All right, anyway, let's see. This house is Victorian something-something. Um, I'm trying to think if I... If it looks familiar to me, I've probably done it, but maybe not. Because remember, we've got a lot of new POIs here <clears throat> in uh, Alpha Alpha 19. It's not looking familiar familiar to me just, you know, from looking at it out here. And that being the case, I'm not really sure where we're going to find then the fat loots at the end of the tunnel. So that let's go ahead and just do, yeah, you know what, I think I have done this house before. And this is where it wants us to enter. So if it wants us to enter in the basement, that means there's probably fat loots in the attic. Or unless there's maybe like an underground passage to the garage and there's fat loots in here. Not likely considering how easy it is to get into though. All right, these guys are probably gonna be a hassle for us. You may notice too, I don't know how well you can see my crosshairs, but I uh, made the duckbill mod for our shotgun too, because I, I found the schematic for that at some point not too long ago. Let's get Farmer Brown out of the equation as well. If you guys remember, I looted a bunch of aloe cream in the last episode. And I turned those into bandages. So we have a full stack of bandages plus the big guy uh, down here. And we got quite a few pills the last time around too. For this, let's go ahead and take the pills. I really like here in Alpha 19 that we no longer have to deal with that freaking, um, you know, uh, cap reduction bullshit. The only time we have to deal with that is when we get a, a critical. Um, and, you know, with the right handling of that critical, you can make it go away much more quickly. Uh, so that way, you know, we don't have to take like just plain bandages solely for the purpose of getting our cat back up. So I really like that change here in Alpha 19. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not just sure where we would enter this place because I don't think there's anything bridging that. All right, well, anyway, we do have a couple things in here we can loot, so let's do so. We got some cement too. All right, is that better than this? It is not, okay. It's probably worth hanging on to and selling though. We'll take that, take that, and I'm not going to take the jar. Huh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we're supposed to enter this place. I just want to see if there's anything in the corner here that might be hidden. No, it doesn't look like it. Aside from, you know, just breaking the door down like we did. Okay, let's, um, since I'm thinking that the loot's probably going to be in the attic, let's just nerd pull up there and see what we can see before we actually start the quest. Hmm. That kind of makes it look like this place doesn't even have an attic. Maybe it has like vaulted ceilings or something. Alright, do we see fat loots in there? We see a biker zombie. Alright, let's go look over here. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so we found him. We got somebody's attention. Okay, let's see what we got. Nice. Oh, look at that. 
We finally got our ratchet. Oh, that's freaking awesome. So this does 47 block damage compared to... Where's our wrench at? 56. Ooh, so actually 50 attacks per minute. 50 attacks per minute. I think our green wrench is actually better than that. Um, but that's cool that we finally found a ratchet. And we got another uh, power tool part too for later on. Okay, and now let's check the fat loots. Oh, nice. A bandolier mod. Another full auto mod. Okay, that's all good stuff. We're sure finding a lot of ammo and loot, which is great. You know, we did we did uh, read that the magazine for that too, so it certainly seems to be paying off. Now, uh, what are we wearing for a chest piece? We are wearing a chest piece that happens to have room for the bandolier mod. That's fan-freaking-tastic. That helps us to reload faster in case you weren't aware of that. Um, all right, let's ditch the coal. Probably going to ditch two feathers. This isn't worth doing anything with. We'll scrap it. And, <clears throat> yeah, uh, we're not going to be able to use... I don't think this ratchet is going to be as good as our green wrench, unfortunately. So we'll continue using the green wrench uh, for the moment, for the time being. You know what, though? This does have a mod on it. Just out of curiosity, if we switch these around... Uh, what's going on here? Why can't I... Why don't I have the modify option here? We got it there. That's weird. Okay, I wonder if that's something the update broke. I've got it right here, but I don't have it on my wrench. It says recipes. Wow, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I can't explain that one. That seems broken to me. And we got everybody riled up, didn't we? No oh, shit, that's our, an army guy. Run away! Wait, did we actually load that? Yeah, we did. Gotta watch that, man. You gotta let the animation completely finish. Or it gets all jacked up. Where'd he go? We didn't kill him, did we? I don't think we did. Did we? I didn't I didn't see the the XP pop up in the lower right hand corner. We must have him. Maybe I just missed it. Just barely missed it. Okay. Well he's not there anymore. <laughs> or if he is, I don't know what happened to him. Oh, I wonder if he ran down in the basement. All right. Showed you guys what for. Okay, let's uh, unload. What is this uh, loot bonus? Okay, yeah, we're gonna... I gotta remember to, to take this right before we do the fat loots uh, at the end this time around. All right, I think we're ready to start this for realsies now. Jeez, man, it only took like over half the episode to get started. <laughs> this, is a, this is a fetch. We already got a little bit of a taste of... How nasty the Zika Ruskies are in here. Okay, so we got a door there and a doorway here. There's a Zombo right there. So I don't know if anything is going to come around that other way, but let's uh, take a precaution just in case they do. Get rid of this so it's not in their way. All right. Wake up, Zombo. Come 
got his attention first, huh? But not this guy down here? Alright, uh, you know what we could maybe do with him? Let's see if we can get a silent snipe off on him here. <laughs> Hawaii 5 -oh. Yep. I didn't think I'd reloaded this all the way. I stopped the animation just a little too soon. Okay, well, let's go in here then, I guess. Make sure these guys are loaded all the way up. $56, make you holla. Just looking to see if there's anything up that way. Okay. So these rooms appear to be clear. We'll take that stuff. We will not take that. Don't care. Don't care about that. Decent amount of cobblestone in this place. Okay, there's a door there, and that's a locked door anyway. Looks like our satchel's on this floor. Okay, let's deliberately make some noise here. I didn't get anybody's attention. Nobody? They did say in the patch notes here for build 163 that they, it said something like it improved the sleeper response to noise or something like that, but it didn't, it wasn't really clear exactly what was improved. But it does seem that they might be just a little bit broken when you fire a shotgun into a room that they're in and that doesn't get their attention. That's what happened to me a, a few episodes back when we were in that little house and it was so dark in the living room that I couldn't see the biker standing there. Um, because I had fired the shotgun into that room like a couple of times and that should have woken him up and it didn't. So I, you know, I thought at the time anyways, I thought, well, it must be clear. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong about that, huh? Oh man, okay. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. I want to hang on to the paper. And uh, we will move forward into the living room. But we need to be ready. We need to be ready to run back in through here and close that door. Killed her. All 
I'm not sure where they're hitting. Oh, there we go. Hi, big mama. Hi, big biker. Man, he is one tough son of a bitch. Oh, there's a bookcase in there. Okay. Can I assume that the living room is clear now? <laughs> you never know until you try, right? That's why we have AKs. What do we got here? Fully automatic fire is more accurate with each shot fired. Very nice. Those will that will certainly help during our many frequent oh shit moments. I'm curious that if I log and then you know, come back in later if my if I can once again mod mod my wrench. Oh, there's the, that's a satchel right there. Yeah, yes, we got it. Okay. Nope, don't want that stuff. All right, let's go upstairs. Okay, so I think that's the path we need to go. I think this is just a bathroom, maybe? Oh, that door's locked too. Okay. There's some bookshelves that might be good for the next time we come in here. Nice. Take both of those. That got somebody's attention. Whoops. Let's save some shotgun ammo. Little zombie closet here with some water. There's something up here. I don't know why I'm doing that the hard way. <laughs> Nothing in there anyway, damn it. Is that the way we're supposed to go? Yeah, I think so. Guess we have to do a little bit of whoop, block breakage. All right, I think we're supposed to go this way, yeah. All right, you know what it's time for. We 
We did. We got a three for out of that. Let's close that door. I think that um, that door to our right is the. Oh shit! That scared me. That branch. Uh, it, it, for a minute there, it looked like the shadow of a buzzard flying by. I think that's the door that we just passed in the hallway that's locked. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. We got something in here. All right, we'll take that stuff. A couple of items to wrench real quick. And here we are at the room with the fat loots. Beautiful. Okay, let's open up uh, the two boxes, and then I'm going to pop that candy that gives us the loot bonus before we open, actually open anything. Let's get rid of the glass. Okay, we're going to take um, eye candy. This gives us a five, uh, plus five loot bonus and a plus 10% loot bonus. What the hell does that mean? What's what's the difference? I don't know. Does it give us any more information? Find that sparkling treasure easier with a drop. Increases loot quality. Oh, okay. Okay, so... One of those... Is one of those a quantity thing and the other a quality thing? I don't know. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Let's just take it. Look at us and our bad selves. That's our very first candy we've had in the game. All right, here we go. Well, a steel shovel is not a bad thing, not nor is an anvil. And a lockpick. Okay, we'll take that. Um, all right. We can uh, we can make a machete. I just don't really want to until I get the knife skill up a bit. We'll take those. We'll get some food. And now for the fat loots. Um, a steel chess piece. Hmm. That, that doesn't give us any, that's not any better than what we're wearing. And what we're wearing is a purple, I think, a uh, scrap piece, but it's got four mod slots. So I don't want to give that up until we, unless we find something that's sort of like way better. But overall, not bad stuff. Not bad stuff. It's still giving us blunderbuss ammo, which is kind of funny. All right. I'm too damn lazy to come back up here. We don't care about the blunderbuss ammo, but I do want these other four things. So we got to get rid, rid of four things. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, we're going to get rid of... Uh, what else? What else? What else? The Sammy. Let's eat that. And one more thing's got to go. One more thing's got to go. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, let's eat this too. That is not better than what we're currently wearing, except for it has a little bit better crit resist. Okay, very good. That's it, guys. I will see you back at Trader Hugh in the morning, because it's too damn late to go back there now for the turn-in, and then uh, we'll wrap up this episode. So probably what I'll do off-camera overnight is maybe do a little bit of mining, um, or, you know, do, I'll do something. But anyway, <laughs> I'll, I'll meet you in the morning in the game here uh, for the turn and then we'll end this episode all right guys i am back um i spent the night most of the night at the base then i changed out all my storage chests for the the larger storage chests and then i thought i'd go out and wrench a couple cars and i popped a um a hacker so i still have about five minutes left on that and uh, i came here to the power station because there was a bunch of cars in the parking lot and I'm actually finding it's a pretty good loot. So I wasn't planning on bringing you guys back yet, but you know, I don't I don't like to do a whole lot of looting off camera just you know, just so you guys know that, you know, the stuff that I get is legit. But anyway, I've I've <laughs> I found some good stuff, so I said, Oh, what the hell, I better bring you guys back. So in this trash there is a uh hollow point seven six two. Uh for snipers, and then there's the mining uh black strap coffee. Um, recipe. Uh, very useful, both of those things. 
uh, particularly at, at this point, you know, before we get a, a power tool, um, they're going to be really useful. Now, I also found two other things. There's nothing up there. Uh, down below in, in the boxes in this place, I found the schematic for uh, the compound crossbow, uh, crossbow, which is really cool. Um, the problem with that now, though, is I don't have any points at all into archery. So if I made one right now, it would be a shitty level one. So we might have to think about putting a couple points into archery if for no other reason so we can, you know, make a better compound bow. So we got that. What I'll probably end up doing, though, is just hanging on to that until... Um, we respec into stealth uh, if and when we do. But even, I guess, I don't know, uh, even a crappy level one compound crossbow is probably better than my orange wooden bow, uh, primitive bow that I currently have. Um, and then the other thing that I found was a uh, muzzle, muzzle brake mod. And I, I went ahead and actually read that because I needed the space. So that gets us caught up. Let's go ahead and... Um, I want to, before my uh, candy stuff wears off, I want to get uh, a couple more cars wrenched. So what I'm going to do is work my way over uh, towards Trader Hugh and along the way uh, continue to wrench some cars or at least do it until my, my candy runs out in about two and a half minutes. Okay, so I'll see you guys over at Trader Hugh. Look at that bad boy. Let's, see, let's make sure we're completely loaded up here. He's not going to be an easy kill. Oh, man, he's big. Woo, that was close. <laughs> Look at the size of that guy. He's ginormous. All right, I wonder how much... Uh, meat will get off of off of him. Let's find out. 26 pieces of meat off of a direwolf. Oh, boiled water no longer gives dysentery. That's a, one of the things that I read in the patch notes, which is great. It never should have in the first place. Alright, let's see what Trader Hugh has for us. This better be good. I never would have guessed you'd pull through. All right. So here you go. Iron pickaxe. I found a, a crap one on the car too on the way over here. <clears throat> um, I don't know how much better that is than the one that we currently have. This is inferior to what we have only because it doesn't have better armor and it has two less mod slots for only one more crit resist. And I don't care about the spare. So yeah, this is going to be our best uh, bet. Now, we'll go ahead and take another job from him. And uh, again, I want that uh, to be to the west. And a fetch and clear gives us the most uh, reward. Um, Yeah. There's but we're also going to uh, go see if, tra if Trader Jin will now give us a uh, level 2 quest as well. Uh, let's take a quick look at his inventory. Needle and thread, puffer coats. No, we already have one. Wouldn't mind having a scope schematic. It's only a 2x scope, though, but, you know, that's good for, like, pistols and stuff. Sham chowder recipe would be good. It's got a compound bow. Uh, polymer string mod. Okay, well, let's look in the normal loot real quick. Robotic sledge. We'll probably eventually come across one of those, I think. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Maybe we can only make it. There's a couple things that they changed over for, to schematic only now. Uh, the aug power tools being one of them, which really sucks because now we can't choose uh, to level up in, you know, in intellect and just, you know, get that. Uh, so I'm not happy about that change. Here's here's a, a level one compound bow right there. So see that has 33 range damage and 68 projectile velocity. So, yeah, quite a bit better than that. Uh, but I, I'm, I wouldn't buy that one from him. I mean, I can make him. Well, actually, I don't know if I have enough bow parts to make it now that I think about it. Steroid cement mixer. Ski goggles. Okay. I only do business with real customers. 
We already checked this guy's stuff, right? Yeah, we did. Um, do I have any money? I don't even... Yeah, I got the money I got from the quest. Let's check this real quick. Uh, yeah. We want that. And that. I'm not gonna buy a coffee. I got plenty back at the base. Alright, guys. Well, <clears throat> let's... Let's just quickly run back over to Trader Jen and see if she also has, um level two quest for us again if you are here to buy i've got the best selection of medicine in the wasteland okay uh jobs yes she has tier twos okay i figured she would but now we know for sure uh we gotta fetch and clear to the northwest it's kind of far away i think i'd rather just do one close by this one is only 130 meters from here so i think i've got a job or two Fantastic! I hope to see you soon. Okay, cool. Um, does she have a new inventory too? Let's take a look. No, she doesn't. If you find We've any extra medicine that. out there, I'll buy it off you. For All right, guys, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Take care.